We have the usual variety. It's getting kind of difficult <laughs> to keep track of the amount of stuff that people is, uh, are sending me. Like they're sending me too much stuff, but I'm doing my best. You may see some repeats. That said, we do have a couple of ads from mobile games, AKA the godless folder. We do have stuff that's regional and from around the world. We got some classic game ads, the usual stuff. And I even brought back poops, but only categorical poops. I'll explain later. My first question is though, chat, have we seen this commercial or was this just a, a, a fucking nightmare I had at some point in my life? Did we watch this one? No? All right. Well, bon appetit. Yeah. I think it's the sounds, so that that's how that's how we're starting. Yeah, it's the sounds. It's balloon flesh. I hate that so much. I, I don't even know what this is a commercial for. Does anyone know? Treasure Island. What, what is it? Oh, yeah, I'm using VLC. I used VLC every other time. The problem is um, I can't get rid of the cone. Does anyone get rid of the cone? <laughs> Tell me how to get rid of the cone. Um, penis pills. Manga. It's a it's manga. It's a men's magazine. All right. All right. Well, that's um, that's how we're starting this then. So let's continue along. All right. So how about this one, chat? Colonel, long time no see. Snake. Today's briefing is of the utmost importance. I think we did see this what is one, it, Colonel. I'll be telling you all about the Ford Focus SE. Discomfort la nivelul gâtului pe parcursul întregii zile. I don't remember this goblin. Pentru tine? I don't remember the goblin. Muco control te poate ajuta să te simți mai bine. Grație extractului de nalbă mare, muco control ajută la menținerea unei respirații normale prin eliminarea discomfortului. Oh no, that's not a goblin, that's just duendi. Conține și acetilcisteină. Acesta este un supliment alimentar. Citiți cu atenție prospectul. Muco control pentru o respirație normală. That's the mucus goblin, everybody. Um, someone said there's a pause on last frame option. Where, where is that exactly? Is that in preferences or where? pause on last frame of video? Let's see if that works. Control. normal. Yeah, that works. Thank you. Very good. Um, so yeah, we got a mucus goblin. That's pretty cool. Um, new new character unlocked. <laughs> How'd they get a camera in that cat's mouth like that? Oh, shit. It's Fluffy's inside story. Hello. I would not. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Say that again? What's the last part you said? Semen. <laughs> That's an unfortunate word to end that commercial with after it already being kind of weird and gross. That's fine. That one's from Iceland, and I would not have guessed it was a mobile phone commercial. Thank you. Later. Oh, it's Babe, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> totally real voice. I'm excited to spend the rest of my life with you, babe. What? I love you, <laughs> also, thank you, Mad Clown Fifty Five, for putting these commercials together. These from around okay. the world. What's going on here? No, I'm not going to go home with you. 
Wait, it was in English. What? It's no longer in English. Dentisco, <laughs> baby. Dentist? I can explain. It keeps going back and forth with the languages. Which is still the least weird part about this commercial. Oh. And this is why RC Cola is like at least eight colas behind the leaders. Like seriously, I've heard of Mr. Pib more than RC. Fucker. Denmark, this one is from. It's Kratos. He had a long mission. You too will get a more Danish view on life. What? <laughs> Joel is not from Daneland, chat. <laughs> what does that mean, though? Like, why do I, why do I, this guy farts on a couch and he's sweaty and greasy and I want to go to fucking Denmark? They can't be second. After a vacation in Denmark, you too will get a more Danish view on life. Stop saying Denmark. All right, fine. Wow. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a boy. Honey, he has your nose. Isn't he beautiful? Let's name him after your great uncle, Frank. Impo collectible. Oh. What do you say? Imports and collectibles. Even though it's supposed to be nose people, they kind of look like Subrosians from Zelda. Stay tuned for the continuing saga as Frank grows. No, I don't want to know any more about these characters. I, I'm good. Collectibles. I like seriously, I could go without ever knowing what happens here. I'm fine with that. มันคือการสาธิตให้เห็นว่าถ้าไม่กินผักดูสิคะอาจมีเศษอาหารหมักหมูน่ากลัวเนอะแต่ถ้าเรากินผักให้ถึงเครื่องทุกมื้อจะไ
And I, I'm not even sure how long it takes to do one video anyway, but um, that's fine. What's this one? I can't do this anymore. I quit. I'm so happy because today I quit my band. Really part of the group. Different from you guys. It's fucking bland. <laughs> You'll never understand. Never understand what? <laughs> oh no, what's gonna happen? Oh, body horror. Great! Oh, thanks, RC Cola, again. I, uh... <laughs> you, you're gonna drink it from the arm, aren't you? We understand. No. No, that's not... No, we don't like that! Th this is the beginning of an alien episode of, like, the Twilight Zone. <laughs> What? I ice. <laughs> Great. Oh, that's their actual eyeballs. They can't see without their ice. Ice, eyes, ice. Uh, mm. So RC Cola is really like two for two at the moment. I have a feeling they're going to end up being like a recurring... Uh, gag here on commercial chaos on the stream because it seems like this is what they make. They they make weird stuff. <sighs> the fuck? <laughs> Great. What even was that a commercial for? Chat room. D does anyone know? That's from Japan, by the way. What is that from? Why is a porcelain baby twerking? And what is it trying to sell me? It's trying to sell China? Wait, is it from China or is it trying to sell China? Because it says here Japan on the thing. That's Chinese. All right. They're trying to sell guns? I, you know what? I give up. Don't even need to know. This commercial is going to be a good one, I think. What is that? Is that a... Quantum! <laughs> well, I think we have a new mascot now on the stream. We got Condom Duck. <laughs> or, if, if you will, Rubber Duck. <laughs> Conduct or or rubber duck. <laughs> oh fuck off commercial. I, I I was thinking it when it was on the ground like that. I was like, is that it's like no, that can't be it can't be it. It was. It was. All right. Um Yeah, so uh geez, we're we're gonna have to figure out where to go from here. So I'm gonna go to um Variety pack number two from the same person. Uh, geez, there's a lot of there's notes for this one too, but Scoot. Scoot. 
In the morning. Yeah. With Scoot? In the morning. Scoot in the morning. What? Scoot in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Scoot in the morning. Is this the new Scoot Wireless? In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Morning. Chat, what the fuck am I watching? Is this a commercial for a radio station? Is it for Scoot the Duck? Is it for Scooters? I, th I think it's just a radio station called Scoot in the Morning. Hey, everyone, it's Scoot in the Morning. Today, we're going to have 13 naked clowns. That's right, 13 naked clowns. We're the edgiest morning show. Scoot in the Morning. Audio change to avoid DMCA. Well, that's kind of you, Mad Clown. I heard for this commercial, they actually let these kids steal the Mona Lisa just for the commercial. I want to see them draw on it like that one Jesus painting. I don't know what what is this a commercial for? I mean, is it a tablet? Oh, good. Because I was going to say, if you advertise a museum like this, you're just asking for, like, trouble. I did not hit him. Oh, my God. Hang on, hang on, hang on. The room screening was good, by the way. Greg did commentary throughout the whole movie. It was actually really, really fun. I did not hit him. I did not get in an accident. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. You're tearing me apart, <laughs> Lisa. I can't get insurance. I have DUI accidents. Why are you so hysterical? <laughs> Just call Save On Insurance. Oh, okay, I call Mark. Okay. You can't save if you don't call. <laughs> call Mark. 888-964-0766 right now. Save On could even insure you. Keep calm. And save on. You know, chat, um, I would say that that actually kind of makes Tommy look like a better actor than he is. That's that's a rare feat. Yeah, that's rare. I mean, there's also the Bob Odenkirk one that's going to be happening, which apparently is pretty good. That's what I've heard about. It. It's pretty good. Man, and I was going to remake the room for a commercial. If your commercial has a monkey in it, like a little fella like that, especially one that drinks alcohol. Do you know your monkey stole my Savannah? Like, that's a good commercial. But if you hum it, I'll play it. Savannah. It's dry, but you can drink it. Okay. <laughs> uh, so it was a. I thought it was going to be like a funny commercial with this little fella here. Look at him. He's wearing a little outfit and everything. And uh, instead, it was just a, a bad joke. Okay. It was mildly amusing. Yes, shoe sandwich. Okay. That was short. It's from Chile. Chile. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I love Charizard. Oh, shit. 
maestro Pokémon construyendo los sets de Mega Constructs. Mega Constructs. No shit. Sin límites. Mega Constructs. Why never Lego though? Pokémon's like one of the biggest, if not the biggest media franchise in the world, and they have to like work with Mega Constructs. Why is grapefruit juice like a pogo stick? Sure, grapefruit juice doesn't spring up and down, but it'll put a spring in your Doug? step, and it's much more refreshing than bouncing around all day. So, for a refreshing step, let go of your pogo and stick to Florida grapefruit juice. Okay, so that's Lor okay. Here's what I picked up from that before I even read the 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 text file here. That was Lorenzo Music who played Garfield, and that was apparently, from what I'm reading here, um, this commercial was made in 1988 and was Doug's first animated appearance. Doug's original name... Um, when Jim Jenkins first created him was Brian, but it changed to Doug by the time of this commercial. I just realized how much the art style of Doug looks like the cover of Duke from uh, and, and the subsequent art style and videos of, of Duke from um, Genesis, the band. It's a little little bit of a thing there. I'm El Muto from Pine Pharmacy here at the Primate Sanctuary in Niagara Falls. Veterinarians depend on Pine Pharmacy. Our expertise doesn't stop with dogs and cats. cats. In fact, the Buffalo Zoo, the Niagara Falls Aquarium, and of course, Kiko and his friends are just some of our more unique clients. Monkey! Let our compounding expertise help solve your pet care problems. We're in the Walker <laughs> Center in Williamsville. Friend Pine us. Pharmacy. Science, service, customized care. Okay. I wasn't like overly weird or cursed, but it's nice. Yo, Elf here. I'd like to talk to you about your planet. I like it. And you should too. Remember when Elf got people an actual finale? Good care of it. For starters, they're abusing our public lands. They're littering the beaches, vandalizing the parks, trashing the playgrounds, and basically treating the planet like rental property. Frankly, I don't understand it. People like that are running loose, and I'm the one who has to hide in the kitchen. Look, folks, public lands are not like pizzas. You just can't pick up the phone and order more. I should know. <laughs> My planet was really abused. The next thing we knew, it was gone. Public land is our friend. Thanks, if you Alf. Take care of it. It'll be destroyed. If you want to help me take care of our public lands, call me. I'll send you all kinds of neat stuff. Even a recent photo of myself. Please, let's save the planet. Yo, I'll Alf is going to send you... Everyone. He's gonna send you some some pics if if you uh if you save the planet. Like he's gonna he's gonna send you some uh some photos of his elf. If you you just gotta save the planet for him, and then he'll he'll send you some recent pics. There are people who don't remember Alf, or you have ever even seen Alf. Have you ever seen Alf? Because I haven't. <laughs> No, I have when I was younger. I remember watching it. I just didn't understand what was happening. It's too young. He's an alien life form. That's what ALF stands for. He's just some wacky sitcom dude that's a, like a Muppet. And he sends you like pictures of his... Um... At Boson Insurance Company, we understand the hassles and pleasures of owning a car. Leave stress and worry behind you. Get motor vehicle insurance from BIC. This is Ruben Isaacs. He is currently insured with BIC. Let's hear his story. We had a social gathering at home and I decided to drive and as I was driving there, it was late and I happened to hit a car. Wait, what? A repair costs were estimated at about seven. Oh my God. I did not have that money at that given time. All I Better did call was Saul. call BIC office. BIC came very handy in that case. I chose BIC Insurance because they have a wealth of experience. You would agree with me that 35 years, you can learn a lot <laughs> in 35 years. And sure. Do you want to do another Be take sure. of that? Be sure. No. For more information, visit our website. Wow. The music was like intense too. <laughs> Pídame lo que sea. Lo que me alivie este dolor 
This is a brand new commercial from 2023 in Mexico. Yeah, it's my favorite movie according to my uh, alter ego AI. Yep. Still haven't seen it. Are, are these like disgusting skin tags? Wait, 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 is this like, oh God, it's going to be inside the human body, isn't it? Or outside of it. Are they like warts? New Pokemon unlocked. Yeah! Great. There's always some cursed foot commercial. Diamond ring at Airport Plaza Jewelers. I see, we've seen Airport Plaza. Gamma said it's because it didn't cost an arm and a leg. That's right. Why go to the fancy store? When you same place, different ad. Airport Plaza Jewelers. Diamonds, diamonds, and more diamonds. Just take the 33 Expressway east to Union Road and Airport Plaza Jewelers. Where really great diamond doesn't cost an arm. Seriously, chat. If I had to advertise for like a really, really low budget commercial, I would just film Norts against a green screen, and then I would see if I could cheaply get someone to animate the mouth to move, and then just do a wacky voice and advertise the. And that would be fine. That would be enough. Like just thinking out loud here. If I needed to do something like that. But when you see me in my store, I'm Cashman! <laughs> Have we seen this guy? Scrap jewelry into cash. Oh, yeah. I'll turn Cartier Rolex and Patek watches into cash. Oh, yeah. I'll turn any jewelry into lots of cash. Oh, yeah. Lots and lots of cash. Come and meet me, Russell, Cashman, Oliver. I pay more cash for you use jewelry than anyone. Oh, yeah. Really, really get that outfit nice and tight. Like as tight as you can, please. And get a nice tight shot of the tightness as well. Whoa! Ah, for me. Malang with the yuck. Wrong good way. I have a limiter on this thing and it's still really loud. Guess it's not limiting good enough. <laughs> Where are these costumes now? That's always my thought. I want it. Want one. Oh. Diamond. <laughs> Ken right That's an actually like really great commercial in my opinion. And I mean just entertainment value. I don't I don't need the product. I just that was a good commercial. I enjoyed it. Fat Cheesy and suits and self-awareness goes a long way. And kangaroos. The amalgam monster and amalgamated bank. Wait, what? Say that again? It's a 10 second commercial. What is that? What's fat and green and eats stuffed lions and kangaroos? The amalgam monster and amalgamated bank. Hmm. Has anyone ever made an amalgam on? You know, there's been infinite fusion, but Amalgamon, and it's just all of them. La gripa puede transformar a tu chiquito. Vapor roof lo alivia. We've seen like goblins, we've seen insects, we've seen strange monsters. It's been a weird one already. How 
אביר שמעון עוזב את ארמון אפלות. הוא יוצא אל היער המחושף להציל את הנסיכה מידי המפלגה. This is an ad for the VHS of an Israeli kids TV show called The Night Simon, where the main character is played by actor Julian Chagrin. גמדים, מכשפות. Okay. Apparently there's no information about this show available on the internet. <laughs> All that is known is the actor's name, it says here. Could be lost media, yeah, maybe it is. It's king of the castle. <laughs> Hell yeah, VHS. Someone has that. Someone's got that. Someone watching this right now. Send it to Red Letter Media. An advertisement from butter? Why did they advertise butter? Like, it's, you need it for things. Why not? I don't know. I guess if you have your own proprietary butter, like butter products, like Fabio sells. Okay. And uh, let's do one more from this folder. That'll be number 20. Just marking this for next time. So this is a commercial from Argentina. This is if your splatooning came to life. Nueva línea design. Colores, terminaciones y efectos especiales. Personaliza tu mundo con paredes en HD. Okay, paint. Also Mario Sunshine. Let's see, where... Um, I'll show you um, one of the poops I made here. <laughs> here, I mean, you know, YouTube poops. I, I threw it in the program and it's for these commercials. There might be some spoilers. Um, I only made four of them, but there might be spoilers. So here we go. God, God help us all. God help us all. <laughs> Yeah, there will be commercial spoilers for future segments in here, for sure. Hypnotic. Wait, what? Is that a third eye? Who's this clown? Oh, we've yet to meet this clown. Get in the shaft from your home insurance company. <laughs> Better get dick. <laughs> What's that one? We, we got to find Better Get Dick. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's in the folder somewhere. Oh, this is a fucking fever dream. There are more things we haven't seen than have. Mario. What's fat and green? <laughs> See, what are you doing? Um, nothing. Mm. Well, cash me out. When it comes to the... Oh. I, I, pure That's fever it. dream. Go rock. Prime's music collectible. I'm a banana! Stop that. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Borderline experimental. Yeah. Was that another Godfather, but with children? Oh. 
Yeah, cha I, I don't I don't know what the hell is going on with some of these. I don't even know where they're coming from. Like, did I even add some of these? Um I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find that specific commercial. Oh yeah, no, here we go. Hang on, hang on. Um heard about this from a friend who knows someone from Houston. Um it was it wasn't on YouTube. I had to email the guy who produced some Eric Dick ads and he sent it to me. So this is an exclusive breaking news commercial for you. This is an exclusive. Get in the shaft from your home insurance company. <laughs> Better get Dick. That's it. That's all it is. It's four seconds. It's four seconds. And yet this had a huge impact. Because I immediately saw it and was like, I got to find the commercial. <laughs> get in the shaft from your home insurance company. <laughs> Better get dick. I guess it's, yeah, length doesn't matter. It's how you use it. Exactly, chat member. Exactly. Classic game commercials. Play to win. I know this song. What is the song? You never lose when seven ups the one you choose. It's a natural kind of taste. Bet Davis. Oh, but it's, you know, a cover. But oh, we've seen this one, right? Yeah, there's a repeat. Seven ups the difference is clear. That's what only it can do. It's a good one, but let's let's keep going. Again, yeah, if there's more repeats, let me know, please, because I might have accidentally yeah. added another it folder that I've done already. Enough. I mean, Mega Man's a good guy, right? But seriously, it got a little out of hand. It was Mega Man this, <laughs> Mega Man that, Mega, Mega, Mega. Yeah. But we've come to an understanding. It's homework, yard work, visiting grandma, then Mega Man. Power up. There's a Mega Man for everybody. Mega Not Man anymore. All the action you need. Each sold separately. Rated E for everyone. Oh, sorry, grandma. Ah, it's cheating. Wait, what? Oh, the game, not the commercial. Yakuza. Yes, because when I think of America, I think the Yakuza series. Apparently, this is like the worst Yakuza game. Is that true? Oh, wait. It, this is just Dead Rising. Wait. You really mid Yakuza spinoff from 2008. It is Yakuza, but it's awful. But there's karaoke. So, of course, it's it, that's fine. Dame, dame. That's yeah. I don't. That's a terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> that advertisement did nothing for me. I was supposed to feel all American and shit, and like go do karaoke, and I don't even want to do that. So apparently, um, this game was was canceled. Yeah, that's a shame. I wonder if they got any of this from Pirates of the Caribbean. No, nah, it looks like its own thing. They definitely didn't recreate specific shots and also have the character look almost exactly like Jack Sparrow and also the music. Oh, it's Disney. Oh. oh. 
I didn't know. I didn't see the Disney logo. Vimby. Dot, dot, dot. They say dead men tell no tales. Dead games tell no tales either. But my tale is just beginning. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't see the Pirates of the Caribbean thing. Oops. Boy, I bet I looked like a bit of a of a dick there, huh? Oh man. Here's Benjamin Hall on the Jaguar system to play Cybermark. Let's see how those beastly graphics and intricate moves have finally come from 64 bits of Mega. Let me know, chat, if this um was Ah don't vomit. For some of these um, commercials, again, not everyone has seen every commercial on the stream, so I'm sure there will be repeats. Kasumi Ninja only on the 64-bit Jaguar. And I say to you, my brothers and sisters, hell is a deep, dark, cloud-smelling of the damn. Oh man, I don't want to go to hell. I guess I should pl go play Doom on the Atari Jaguar. Doom for the 64-bit Jaguar. The best Doom ever. The best Doom ever? No! Introducing Alien vs. Predator. For the 64 bit Atari Jaguar. I played a lot of these, but God, the frame rates are so bad. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of fucked up. Uh, okay. I know I've seen this one. This is a repeat for sure. Again, this is a, a very difficult segment to make sure it's always like new stuff. Good evening, Batman. Alfred. I've stepped up safety in the Batmobile, sir. Really? Should a villain <laughs> steal it? Someone it's the actual Al if Alfred from the, the movies. An advisor will assist you. If you're stranded, but who's the Batman? And where have you put all these things? That's Just not Val Kilmer. Well done, Alfred. My pleasure, sir. No, that's Clooney? OnStar, how can I help you, Batman? Or is it just some Clooney like? No, that's not Clooney. A different chin. Different chin. I, I know Clooney's chin. Batman, this is Karen Boyd from OnStar. It's Clooney's, like, outfit, but there's, like, a Clooney like in the costume. I'll contact him right away. A clone, if you will. A Clooney clone. He'll never learn. Didn't even look like he said that. Like, I, I know about recording. I need my door unlocked. Like ADR, but yeah, that was just bad. Locked out. An OnStar advisor can unlock your doors by remote. Even the most self sufficient driver needs a little help now and then. OnStar, this is Jeff Hilden. How can I help you, Batman? I'm low on jet fuel. Near station. Does this product still exist? Thanks. I feel like I've heard about this, but I, I don't. It does? Oh. I don't think I've ever seen it. The Batmobile is jet-powered, bulletproof, fireproof, and reaches speeds over 300 miles per hour. Is that a miniature? That looks, it's a good-looking prop. Could we possibly improve on it? No, it's not a miniature. It's, that's the actual thing. Yes. On 
Gunstar. How can I help you, Batman? It's all the help you'll need on the road. Wikipedia is saying the Batman actor in these commercials played Master Chief in Halo 4 and 5. The fuck? OnStar now offers a safer way to make calls on the road. Wow. Also, the fucking production value of these commercials is massive. Like his nipples, his bat nipples. I'll be a little late. Does kind of sound like John Chief, doesn't it? Very late. There's never a good time to take your eyes off the road. Personal calling. Call Commissioner Gordon. Batman, the penguin's all yours. So long, Batman! It's been a real blast! I wonder if this was a tie-in with um, Batman and Robin, and this these commercials came out right after that. And when that movie was like a fucking universal failure and flop, people were like, nah, fuck on star. Oh, this was three years later. Fun's over, Penguin. So Batman and Robin was known as a universal flop. OnStar now offers voice access to internet news, stocks, and email. Riddler. Virtual advisor. Get email. Riddle me this. What do a river and money have in common? The bank. But yeah, it's like the Schumacher um, era Batman like sets and everything. It's cool though. The production value is awesome. It's payday, boys. <laughs> Not today. Sham carry. <laughs> Voice activated internet service from OnStar. Well, well there you go, Chad. That's that's some that's some high quality shit. I would say those commercials were almost better than the Batmans. Those were like better than the Schumacher Batman. Maybe not the Val Kilmer one. I like that one was a little bit better, but <laughs> Batman Vengeance is rated teen. Takes a dive and then we string him up and drop him in the Oh, drink. Mark Hamill. <laughs> Any question? In a city on the brink of chaos, lunatics, one evil falls, <laughs> vengeance shall rise. It's a PS2 game, so maybe that will make the music make a little more sense. the world of Batman as you've never seen it before. Okay, so Chad is saying this game rules, this game sucks. Hope it's is death. It's those two things. Hide my head, I want to drown my sorrow. <laughs> No tomorrow. No. And I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. Hey, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Sorry. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. What does that mean? What does it mean? Yeah, well, it's a dream. It's How about this song? Mama's little baby love shortening, shortening. Mama's little baby love shortening bread. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad company too, chat. That's the... This whole thing was humor. Like, it was um, Battlefield with, with lots of... I mean, I even played it. It was fine. It was good. But... Uh, oh, no, this is the first one. Sorry. But yeah, it was it was like zany kind of stuff, you know? Let's try to be like fun and funny. Like, hey, we're funny soldiers. We're killing. We're getting killed, but we're funny. <laughs> We're quirky. Still, though, people highly regard it 
compared to a lot of the Battlefield games, so. What is it now, Sweetwater? Guys, I'm sure I saw a guy with an eye patch hiding inside that barrel. What? No. Why would somebody hide in a barrel? Hmm. Looking for diapers. See? Did you see that? Why would he do that? That's as stupid as hiding in a cardboard box. Well, 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 what do we do? I mean, maybe it's some kind of special military barrel, you know? Like some kind of real solid metal... I, I don't know, like some new Japanese thing. Right. Don't oh, you worry dear. your pretty little head. I'll figure this out. Hey, guys, look. <laughs> I found an eye patch. Ow! Quirky, you know the movie, um, what was it, Three Kings with, with weirdly enough, George Clooney and Ice Cube and Spike Jones. Did you ever see that movie? It's like that kind of thing I think they're going for. But um, yeah, commercials are fine. It's, it's you know, quirky war and stuff. <laughs> Someone said this will be Zoomers when they are drafted for World War Three. <laughs> Why did you say that, chat member? <laughs> oh, shit. Tell you what, I can barely see what's happening. Without like sound effects, it, it just feels so, I don't know, like I just yeah, unimpactful. Oh, we got a sound effect. Bionicles were the coolest Legos because because they had lore in comics. Yeah, I missed the whole Bionicle era. That was not my era. I, my era of Legos was um, the knights in in their castles. We talked about this a bunch, but the orange transparent chainsaw pirates, like late '80s, early '90s Legos, and then also <clears throat> uh, 2022. Anyway, let's continue. Oh, I've seen this. This is a repeat. Oh, wow. It's short, though. That's awesome. Racing's not about winning. It's about making friends. Blur. Shut it, Pinky. Blur. <laughs> Race like a big boy. Rated everyone 10 and up. You baby, if you played this other game. E for everyone. Vaping is like safer than vaping is safe safer than safer than Oh I don't know, that's just it's just loud noise is funny. Here chat. I can even add to the humor of that, I think, a little bit. Let me try to. Here, we're going to try again. Vaping is like... <laughs> Vaping is safe... Safer... Safer than... Safer than... <laughs> Boy, they really leaned into the box thing. It is a recognizable element of the game for sure. I get why they would use it. <laughs> 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 
だけどまだ教えてもらってないことがありますメタルギア最大の謎さっき、この謎は、ケンジ君とドキュメントしなさい。お父さん。Someone said you haven't played MGS4 yet, right? No, dog, I have. A couple years ago. At this point, I've played all of them. Well, not, well, that, not really. <laughs> Never mind. Mainline, I have. メタルギアソリッド5ファントムペイン。You didn't play much survive? Okay, I've never played any survive. I did play Peace Walker, yeah. Vinny, it was six years ago. Where does the time go? Oh my god, really? It was six years ago? This is a DMCA song. This is Hey Man, Nice Shot. You picked a real peach of a world to crash on, boss. I'm picking up a large cluster of hot I'm just going to do that every now and then. And strap that dildo on. Great. Why did. Okay. I. <laughs> That's a good, good thing to unmute to. What? Um, yeah, it's called Bullet Storm. And someone said, is this Borderlands? Uh, yeah, it's probably influenced a little by some of the humor. Uh -oh. I don't know if it's exactly that. I know it was a big Steve Bloom game. Like he was the, uh, the main actor. God, that was 12 years ago. Uh oh, stinky. I thought it was in the video game folder. What is this doing in here? This isn't video games. <laughs> What? These Teletubbies say hello. Oh. These Teletubbies say. <laughs> This Teletubbies. Oh, yeah, hello, everybody. Hello, And these Teletubbies. Give me that fucking custard. Put that custard in my tummy. Cut me open if you need to. Make an incision just over the left shoulder. They all come to play with you every weekday morning on Children's BBC Two. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, also, not video games. <laughs> See what you got here. Does this hurt? Oh, does this hurt? Oh, does that tickle? Ah. You know what's funny? This is my chart. Sometimes it's story time. Hey, what's for dinner around here? Share with your roommate, right? <laughs> That's not the real Crash Bandicoot. This, this is a fucking Times Square imposter Crash Bandicoot that charges you for a mixtape. You know, my insurance covers sponge baths. Welcome to Cube World. Cube World? Wait, that game? The indie game? Stick people. Stick together. Start with one. Good boy. Connect two to double the fun. Ew, now I'm gonna have to clean that up. How much do you have to spend Stack on each cube? More, then watch them explore. Cube World. You never know what they'll do next. You guys are out of control. Earth Original Tamadachi. Ew, gross. Cube World. Cool new cubular characters for you to collect. <laughs> If you two can't It's get like 12 along, to 15 bucks a pop. You. I see twenty dollars as well. Cube world. It's no place for squares. Chat, how do I find ten of those? Like how much do I have to pay in today's money to find ten functional cube worlds? Yeah, eBay, but I'm asking, does does anyone know? It's probably gonna be what, like four or five hundred dollars more?
2005 was the time when everyone was making a Tamagotchi. Uh, yep, there is a lot of different types of little computer devices that would have a creature or a person in it. It's true. I remember seeing a lot of those. There's a pack of nine on eBay for 25 bucks. Hmm. Well, I don't want it. Yeah, not anymore. It's not. <laughs> Someone from the stream is going to have that advertisement work on them. I, yeah, I know who Dendi is. Yeah. An NES clone, yeah. The, the elephant. I remember Dendigar. Now, is she saying Duende? Oh, no, that's not a fire. That's just Dendi. <laughs> I wonder if there are actually any like good games on Dendi. Most of them were just NES games. The rest were just bootlegs. It can play any, any, oh, it's a hacked NES. Oh. I see, I see. Okay. Someone's doing a MILF counter? MILF counter eight? <laughs> what the fuck, chat member? Why do you need that? Uh, don't answer that. В магазинах Dendy грандиозные распродажи. Dendy Junior 99 000. Sega Mega Drive 2 530 000. Фирменная гарантия 6 месяцев. Большой выбор картриджей. Mario. Фирменные магазины Dendy. Oh, Dendy. 10, 10, More, yep. Петровка 12, переход в метро, театральная, кум. No, it's legal and, and cool and awesome. Gotta love the audio mixing. <laughs> just, yeah, play whatever fucking shit you want on it. <laughs> that should just be the commercial. Digimon Digital Monsters. God, that song is just audio crack. It's so catchy. It's so shamelessly catchy. Oh, I know this commercial. That's a different one. Um, yeah, that's a that's a catchy fucking song. Almost as good as Scoot in the Morning. Almost as good. Digimon, prepare to Digimon, the original digital monster. How well you train him determines the monster you get. Speaking of Tamagotchis. Digimon are Tamagotchi, says chat member. Fair enough. It started off as a Tamagotchi clone. I see, I see. You run away again, buddy, and you're totally grounded. Wait, Charmander? 80 renegade Digimon. They run away, and you have to get them back. The I know, it's Agumon. I know, I know. No, for Bandai. Like, I'm curious for people. Okay, um, okay, so I grew up in that era, but I did not know what a Digimon was. I genuinely had no idea aside from the name. And I was like, oh, it's a Pokemon clone. But if you liked Digimon 
more than Pokemon. Were you like weird? Like, did people like tell you like stop that? Like, you should really like like Pikachu instead of instead of Agumon and uh, Scrungalong and uh, Scrotobog. No one really cared. What? No one really cared about Digimon. But you know, people cared in some places. There were definitely schools. It's like, oh, look at the loser with the Digimon, huh? Check out my Charizard. Look at my manky. What you do? Pick a blue. You're ready for Toontown. Oh. The outrageous, ever-changing online game. You can join your friends in exciting oh, I do remember this. Never played it, but with your parents' permission, yeah. get non-stop 3D adventure and play with free your parents' permission. Toontown.com. Toontown. Rated E for everyone. Are you turning off? Guys, I have an extra ticket to the concert tonight. Take, take me, dude. Take me. Take me. <laughs> <laughs> Choice is right. In Dragon Quest IX, I had to choose between a martial artist and a warrior to take into battle with me. I chose a warrior. Who will you choose? Decisions, decisions. Seth Green, what are you doing here? Choose your posse, your weapons, your strategy. The adventure is yours. Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. Okay. And everyone, ten and up. Great, great. Mom, plan. I, I want stripes. it now. You don't understand. It's Kelsey Weaver. You know who does understand? Me. In Dragon Quest IX, I can choose from hundreds of outfits. I battle monsters in a fur poncho. That's my choice. What's yours? Hi there. Hey, great cape. <laughs> it's a poncho. Choose your wardrobe, your weapons, your strategy. Milady. The adventure is yours. Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. Rated everyone 10 and up. Nintendo gave Dragon Quest IX a huge marketing push for some reason. I I guess it's it's DS. Maybe they were trying to push Dragon Quest to get like bigger in the West. Finally, um, I hear it's a good one. And eight apparently was like I knew about eight. I didn't really know much about Dragon Quest, but I remember thinking like, wow, Dragon Quest eight looks really good. So, Vinny, play eight. I know I've been told. Um, if there's ever a remake of eight, I'll probably check it out I'll be waiting like 10 years no not the 3ds one chat no wonder it has nine huge warriors three training modes and over 315 martial arts moves wow so many martial arts moves bon appetit Oi. Only on Sega Genesis. Sega. Nothing says advertising video games like a burp. Oh dear. So Chad, this is from Final Fantasy Versus 13 which by the way was 2006. I want you to think about that. It took 20 years to get to Final Fantasy 13. It's been 17-ish years since then and we're almost at 16. Wait, this is a DMCA? This just became 15, right, chat? If I'm not mistaken, like this game never. This was wow. And this is a fucking ad from 2006. <laughs> and eventually this game became the one that we're on now. That's insane. I say now, but like, you know, it's the one that is most recently currently out. Maybe I'm not saying it correctly, but yeah, you know what I mean, I think. Development hell. Yeah, I remember that. And you will reach a tall red tower. I can't promise, but there 
you might find other survivors besides yourself. At that moment, I was truly alone. <laughs> I've never seen this game before. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, what is it, chat? I mean, I'm reading it, but... Fragile dreams. Oh. Farewell, ruins of the moon. Uh, okay. Well, that's what it is. Who are you? Tell me. My name's... Seto. <laughs> Nintendo Wii. Wait, March 19th? Oh yeah, that is today. Probably be DMCA'd as well. It's fine, Johnny gets rid of it. Johnny is best. Johnny gets rid of all the bullshit. <laughs> Thanks, Jenny. Oh god, everything just blends into the other thing. Like, I watch this and it just... Like, who who is buying this? It's brown and blue. It, this is the brown and blue mirror as well, yes. Just very generic. Just dudes shooting guns. You know how it is. Fuse. This game was initially revealed as Overstrike and had more humor, but EA stepped in and made them seriousify everything based on focus tests or some shit. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go now, kick punch block. A rap. Is that the dude from Final Fantasy? Hey, oh, Gakuto! Yeah, yep, it's Gakuto. I'd love that they're just adding extra syllable. I don't know how that works, but the way it's spelled is G A C K T. And the way it was spelled there is G A C U K U T O. Gakuto. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I guess that's how you just pronounce it in Japan. Oh, I said that wrong too. It's yeah, G A K U T O. It sounds like a town in Zelda. Dendy playing them Wario games. Wow. Dendy is fun. Peggy 18. Hey, everybody. Huh? Okay, cool. Water time. Break time. <laughs> what? All that uh, junk has been taken out my stream. This is a game? This is it. This is a game? Moderator, what do I do? Like, do I answer it? Mm. Mm. Wait. We should go for a drink. You become a moderator to a yeah, gamer maybe. girl? Yeah. I know. What do you guys think? Like, you got that, guys? <laughs> no. We no. 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 <laughs> Abby, you're streaming again? What's it to you? Mm. 
choose the story. I'm just gonna make sure he's okay. Apparently this was canceled. This game was like shit canned. So I hope everyone got paid well for their time here. <laughs> oh my god. It's called Gamer Girl. Okay. September 2020. It was going to be on the Nintendo Switch. Oh my god. That's more recent than I thought. Of course, it's a fucking horror game by the end. Yeah, it, oh, it, it, yeah, of course. Where else was it going to go? I choose you. Let's go, Lugia. Oh, we saw this one already. Gaming etc. in Stratford, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Bakugan, video games and more. All under one very large roof. Gaming etc. is your ultimate tournament center. Alright, who's ready to get the fire girl? From the casual to the most experienced competitor. Gaming etc. Easy off exit 30 of I-95. Oh man. We'll do, uh, we'll stop here at the gaming and then we'll move on to some other types of commercials. Yeah, it's Goat Sim commercial. This one is pretty well known. This was the first Dead Island parody commercial. And then they did it again for Dead Island 2. It's funny that Goat Simulator 3 came out before Dead Island 2. And Goat Sim 2, of course, is real, as we all know. Again, the Traveling Wilburys did it first. They did the Traveling Wilburys album. And then they did Volume 3, and they did not do a Volume 2. Vinny, remove the M from the Goat Sim. Goat Sim. There may be spoilers here yet again. Happy birthday. Spoilers for future segments. psychedelic what uh, chat i actually for a minute just continued like considered not continued that's not a word thank you stimpy i considered just stopping the youtube poop and just pretending that we don't have any more youtube poop i, I actually considered that for a moment <laughs> i've seen that commercial yeah there's definitely repeats Again, if you're going to send commercials, just, you know, mark down every other commercial I've ever shown, if you don't mind. It's still the thing I receive the most in regards to, like, Sunday stream stuff. It's just commercials. Like, easily the most amount of stuff I get is commercials. The enclosed instruction book. <laughs> what the fuck? They run away, and you have to get them back. I'll take a potato chip and eat it. But then I took an arrow to the. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Besides yourself. 
Okay. 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 Um, I'm going to save the print ads for next time. I have print ads. That'll be a new and innovative segment. Um, so that will happen. But let's see. Let's go to. I guess this is just non gaming. Oh God, there's, there's just so many. Uh, uh, we'll do mobile gaming at the end. I, I think that's, you can't really follow those up. So. When I take on the insurance company, I ain't settling for no small dough. I'm hunting for the big bucks. We did this one already, right? I'm Mike Slocum, the Alabama Hammer. You've been hurt in a car wreck. Let me hunt down the big bucks for you. Call How me about right now. Are you kidding me? How about this one, chat? Don't worry, I'll fix it. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Fixing with my super mind powers. <laughs> no, this is new, I think, Was yeah. Is that a bird? <laughs> Call that was the real Superman. All clear auto glass. They'll fix that glass and get you on your way right away. All clear auto glass works with all insurance. If you think about it, though, Superman doesn't need to be Jack. Superman can be the latest tools and like equipment available in the field of auto glass. That dude. Auto glass. Local, personal, professional. He's still gonna be strong as fuck. I don't know. Hey, Papa Bear, how was that experience for you? Hmm, it's all right. Terrific. For me, not so good. Look, I can't do this job alone anymore. You're using dry tissue on that bare derriere. Hey, there's no It's like a fucking rare game, game from the 90s. The toilet paper's telling me something. Wetter is better. Let me introduce you to Aquanel. Dermatologist tested and hypoallergenic for the cleanest wipe possible. Just spray a little on Walter, your face. I need you to wipe your ass, you'll Walter. Feel the difference. Ooh, that does make sense. It smells good too. Aquanel comes in six amazing fragrances. Is the toilet paper done talking yet? Cause here, Junior, use Aquanel too. Instead of actually wiping your ass, why not just spray your asshole with Aquanel? Three ounce travel size. Who knew bears were using toilet? Just give it like a quick spritz and then just pull your pants up. I think that's probably better. Just do that. Wanda, pick me up. I'm gonna jump again. Don't do it. You're Best not gonna graphics. End it this time. Here goes. I sure hope that dress has a lot of padding. What? Save on three more carpet for three hundred ninety nine dollars. That's forty square yards of stain resistant carpet installed with half inch pad for only three ninety nine. So for rich man's carpet at a working man's price, visit Carpet and Tile Bargains in Hazelwood. Veterans Carpet in Collinsville. And Rothman's Carpet Outlet in Fairview Heights. Solid core composite frame, triple pane windows. Solid core composite frame, triple pane windows. Solid core composite frame, triple pane windows. From Scott the Window Guy at HD Wisconsin Window. I'm Scott the Window Guy. <laughs> <laughs> HD Wisconsin Windows. Our solid core composite frame triple pane window you is can the most fuck right off. efficient window made for Wisconsin, no matter what the season. Wisconsin. Now and get two hundred twenty-five dollars off each window at scottthewindowguy.com. We got some lore. Um, people in St. Louis were legitimately sad when Becky's carpet went under because those commercials were so beloved. That's what I'm being told. There was a time where homeowners dealt with unruly ACs, toilets, and water heaters. Oh, no the shit. Team could handle the fight. But there remains <laughs> beacon of hope in a group of superheroes. Just one call away. We'll take it from here. Marvel Phase 4. Dispatch, I'm en route. If they keep producing like 15 things a year, this is what their stuff is going to look like. spring and I am wanting to be getting a happy amazing sofa from the furniture or this house. but it is that I have a problem it is a bad couch it is not wanting to be leaving I have tried everything yelling get out Row. feeding come and get it Row. tickling gochi 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 Row. exterminating it's a sofa there 
More yelling. Go away, bad couch. <laughs> that couch looks like an enemy from Mario 64. It's like the... The haunted living room level. <laughs> Instead of a piano, it's the couch with the fucking teeth. Thinking of the holidays. Think bang bang. No. That's hard. No. Uh, uh, think boom boom. <laughs> you selected a 500 grams of light of your sky. That's hard. Where? What is this place? Uh, uh, buy one, get three free. Now that's hot. Come see the bang bang lady on 431 South, just eight miles south of the 280 bypass. Oh, cool. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the chat member who's counting milfs? Where are you? Where are you? Speak up. Party with the bear. Nope, Party I don't think I will. Fun with rides and games. The bounces are insane. The food is never lame. The parties are the best, less expensive than the rest. So be a daily guest. So party with the bear. I just realized something. There's just infinite commercials. Like I had a little existential crisis while watching that one. I was like, oh, I'm never going to get through all the commercials there are on, on, the, on this planet. Like maybe when classic game commercials was a thing, I could get through a good chunk of those. But now that we do all of this stuff, oh, I'm fucked, aren't I? It's even better that it's not in English. But what is it? What's the product? Is it a candy? Is it like a starburst? It's like a chewing gum or something. It's there. Oh yeah, brother. Skull yeah. Bone cutters. Oh dear God. Oh, here's a recent edition. Yo, this is a bomb. And they're air popped, not fried. Hot corners. You're an artist. Actually, Did they de age Aaron Paul? No, we don't eat our own supply. Mr. Wife! Jesse. Everyone's gonna want to taste. And I know just the guy to talk to. What are these? <laughs> we call them popcorners. Say their name. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be the last appearance of these two, isn't it? Yeah! How much of this stuff do you have? We've got six signature flavors, y'all. Seven! You make seven! Seven. Seven works. Yeah. Popcorners. Break into something good. God. We eat a lot of snacks together. <laughs> but they must have got a shitload of money to do this. Um, that might be the last time we see Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul as these characters. It's amazing how they've become like cultural touchstones at this point. But um, I got to say, it looks more like them than it did in Saul. Like, I feel like the de-aging here, if it's happening, it looks pretty good. But um, yeah, we're going to... Uh, it's just weird. It's weird. Canonically, the last time we've seen them is advertising chips. Amazing. And that's from this year, this past year. Well, actually, this that's from 2023. I got short money, but I need some wheels. 
I was going to make fun of the way this guy dances, but I can't dance any better than this. At least he's going for it. Uh-oh. Guess what day it is. Guess what day it is. Huh? Anybody? Julie. Hey, guess what day it is. Oh, come on. I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is. It's hump day. Woo -woo! Ronnie, how happy are folks who save hundreds God. of dollars switching to Geico? I'd say happier than a camel on Wednesday. Hump day! Get happy. Yeah. Get Geico. I've never minutes, heard that before, but then again, I've never heard many things, so I have no idea. Let's, uh, let's continue. Cheddar cheese. It turns tortilla chips into hot, delicious nachos. But take <laughs> away the cheddar. Hey, that's a weird cut. And you're stuck with plain tortilla chips. No way, Jose. So pile on the cheddar. All right. Because tasty cheddar mm, makes everything yeah. better. Check. Can we see that again? Look, it, it went from solid cheese to liquid it cheese. tortilla chips into hot. Liquid cheese. Delicious. Hmm. Listen, drive and discover sales again at Collierville, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram. Discover new Ram crew cabs. Right. Uh, th there's got to be a genre for this kind of CG person. Like, I, I, I hate them. <laughs> what was that? Can you do that again? Discovered a giant monkey. Uh-uh. Okay. Crazy Bruce's liquor. Oh yeah, this one. We've got the bargains for you. Woo, woo, woo. Crazy Bruce. This is a pretty famous liquors. one. Selection and quality too. Woo, woo, woo. Calm down and Mono just said he's also a customer. You think we're too good to be true. Woo, woo, woo. Zinfandel and Cabernet, Red Merlot and Chardonnay. Crazy Bruce's liquor store. Woo, woo. He's not doing the woo-woo chat. He might be doing it after, but he's not doing it in the moment. Doesn't count. Minus five. Oh, what a beautiful day for fun. What would you like to do? I'd run away from you, Art. motherfucker. That's a wonderful idea. Let's see. What kind of food should we have? Why did they have to make him look like a yellow cock, right. though? I packed some right here. Let's see. McDonald's hamburgers? Yeah. And some French fries. Yeah. Mm, don't they look delicious? Yeah. And some triple thick McDonald's shakes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, we can always make good use of that. Ah, here they are. Apparently, a voice clip from this was used in Undertale. No joke. Stealth yeah, Undertale empty. commercial. You sure can get a lot in these bags, can't you? This McDonald is like early Mario voice to current Mario voice. Like, that's not at all what I remember Ronald sounding like when I was a kid or older. Ronald had like a, hey, gang. And now and in this commercial, he's like, hey, everybody, it's me, Ronald McDonald. I look like a big yellow cock. You want to buy some clown meat? I remember it quite vividly. Uh, it was about a month ago, and my wife was baking brownies. I actually thought his tongue was going to get like mutilated, but it's just comedy cartoon I mutilation. A new Dairy Queen brownie butter blizzard. It's much safer. The irresistible new brownie batter blizzard treat at Dairy Queen: rich, gooey brownie batter and moist brownie pieces. Do one and DQ something different. Aliens. Get away from her, you. This thing just won't leave. All I want to do is kick back and enjoy the direct TV we just hooked up. Oh, God. I mean, I just got the best. Oh, I remember this series of commercials. Free. This is going to feel almost as good as when I got rid of Cable. Get our best TV package. God, what year was this? Because I, I, oh, 2007. I mean, the, they, it's CG. And it's like 
pretty obvious. I mean, this is in crust mode. We're getting this at a very low bit rate, but um, they did a lot of um, they did a lot of these kinds of commercials where they took like classic movie characters and just had them advertise. But it is, I mean, Sigourney signed up for it. She probably did the ad and then they just applied CG over her face. Um, that's her voice, as far as I'm aware. Sounds like her. Almost as good as when I got rid of Katie. So. Don't worry, chat. Plenty of old and dead celebrities will still be doing ads. I forgot to tell Marty when he gets back to the future, he needs to get direct TV HD. They already have all the best channels, and soon they'll have three times more HD capacity than cable. Impossible? Well, that's what they said about my flux capacitor! For a future of 150 HD channels, get direct TV. There you go. There's another one. Even though Christopher Lloyd has always looked that age. Please feel free to bring it back. Thank you. Discount Tire Company. Wait, 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 wait. If ever you're not satisfied with one of our tires, please feel free to bring it back. How many times has this happened? Thank you. Discount Tire Company. That's got, you know, that had to have inspired some people to actually throw a tire through a window. Like that specific company's window. <laughs> Annoyed hates hot quality pizza. He loves to make your hot pizza ice cold. Call Domino's Pizza and avoid the noise. I always hated this motherfucker. I hate, I, I hate it. I hate it. We keep the cold out and all this quality in. So when you want quality pizza hot and delicious, Domino's Pizza delivers. One call does it all. I mean, annoyed, 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 annoyed. It's like even hate is an emotion. If a commercial can make you feel that, it's something. Gotta eat pizza. That'll kill it down. Just like eat the pizza, motherfucker. Don't even think about it. I don't know why I'm aggressive at the moment. I just hate that guy. Who put this back empty? I, I didn't drink it. Did Chat, was that whoa, was that the me? That sounds like the one. Hang on, is that the one? No, wrong button. Hang on, where where is that? Oh. It is! It's fart without reverb. Good. Put the Noid in there, too. Wait a minute, though. Why did they allow that to happen? Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. That's not real, is it? Oh, that's not the real Pillsbury Doughboy. That's like a parody. <laughs> Milk is fucking savage. Now when you buy any food item at Dairy Queen, get the Galaxy's Greatest Shake for just 99 cents. And to prove it's the Galaxy's Greatest Shake, here's Phil from the Crab Nebula. Weird lips. So, Phil, is it? <laughs> That's Phil's yes. Oh. Everyone agrees. That sounds like a noise I would make. People ask us to bring peace to the city of Austin. House Radiant accepts. I know you. <laughs> There's something awakening in your mind. You must face your fears. What the fuck? What's that? You need to be ready. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> The Shai Halud toilet. Oh, fucking hell. I, I got to give him credit for that. That was that was a fucking phenomenal ad in its own stupid way. Really. 
<laughs> just giving the toilet some teeth and a mouth like that alone would have been enough, but they did it. They dunked. So, is everybody using Duracell batteries? No kidding. The second I heard they had a battery that lasts all other brands, I bought the family whole case. Uh, I don't like it. It's like that Primus video, Winona's Big Brown Beaver. Did you slip her one of those other batteries? Me? <laughs> the copper top tops them all. What, like, okay. It's, it's okay. It's it's weird because how many like okay. how many layers of makeup and prosthetics do these people have on them? Jesus, because because they can still emote like really well. The family whole case. Reminds me of the first time we tried Duracell batteries. We were living in Tulsa. It was a whole series of Duracell commercials. Wow. If you owe the IRS or state $10,000 or more in back taxes, the time to settle your tax debt is now. The IRS will practically stop at nothing to collect. Wait, why is an elf check, delivering this commercial? Bank accounts and even seize your home or business. But don't worry, I'm Dwight the Knight. Oh, Dwight the Knight. to fight the IRS. It, maybe it was an alien, maybe, maybe it was an elf. No, it's a knight. Move wage garnishments, lift bank levies, stop Gray Leno, maybe. and negotiate settlements directly with the IRS. Newly authorized debt forgiveness programs allow you to settle your tax debt for less than ever allowed before. You could save thousands and become debt free in the process. Call today for a free tax analysis and find out if you qualify. Even if you're facing an audit or have years of unfiled returns, we can help. Call me, Dwight the Knight, your financial knight in shining armor. No. 1-800-123-4567. Again, <laughs> How did you get that number? How the fuck did you get that number, Dwight the Knight? Um, there's, yeah, there's a lot more in this folder, but I'm going to probably, um... Here's I'm just going to go by a couple that have interesting names. Hello. It's me. That guy that sort of looks like your grandfather. Huh? And I made this guy co commercial in just 15 minutes. Bring it in. Roblox. Whoa, too close. In 15 minutes, you can do a lot, like make a train wreck of a commercial or save buckets of cash <laughs> on car insurance. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's sexy grandpa time. No, it's not. It never is. I'm Stop. Your daddy, I'm your grandpa. Why is Geico making shit posts? Honestly, that's been Geico's thing though for years. It's the only reason anyone knows what a Geico is is because just they have infinite money to spend on advertisements. Um Let's see. Is this a real song already? Or is this an original? Oh my god. It's very catchy. Alright. Uh, there's a lot more of this stuff, but I think... Here's here's one more from this folder and then we'll do we'll do the things the fucking mobile game ones. Hello, Mrs. Jensen. You don't have any Snickers in your shopping cart. The neighborhood kids love Snickers on Halloween. Let what? me help you. Why are you doing this to me? Oh. Uh, I'm only helping Snickers. Definitely go to her. Oh, this Halloween, nothing satisfies like Jesus. <laughs> That's nice sleep paralysis demon mask you got there. Okay, let's um, let's do the fucking mobile game ads. There's gonna be some repeats for sure, like at least a couple. So if there are, just bear with me. But here we go.
Your street. I thought I said your stake is in danger. Who <laughs> wireless? Who wireless? I mean, this has at least got some production value and is less wretched than most of the mobile game ads I've seen. Like, all I'm asking for with these ads is that they're not wretched. There's like a wretchedometer that I, you know, I have in my head. This is just dumb, but I get what they're doing. Duolingo and Redbird were thirsting for each other. Was there a thing that they did? So relatable. Okay, okay. I'm doing it, okay? I'm doing it. I mean, Duolingo isn't exactly a game, right? That's so weird. That's so fucking... Didn't they also delist Angry Birds because they weren't making as much money on it? Some dumb shit like that. You, you've seen this one for sure. <laughs> That's great. Bro, what is this? Why? Like, what are the cartoon noises adding to this? Cartoon noises from like 80 years ago. Bro, what is this? Uh, uh, it's a common meme trend, but there was no other sound in the commercial. We've seen, I think we've seen this one. But if you haven't, now you have, and you know, you have this knowledge. What the f That's the Symphony of the Night wolf noise. Wow, level 100 already. Play now. Wolf guy, play now. Listen. Play now. What was that voice? Also, but why did they have to... Why are they doing this to the wolf? What the fuck? When a big pile of feces hit my head as I was about to attack a buffalo. A B I Game of Thrones music. And started eating parasites. It's the worst. It's, it's, the, it's the worst. It is the worst. I started my third life by eating an elixir and evolved into a dinosaur. Not even the mythical phoenix was a match for me. Watch me shred all the pieces and evolve. Wow! I've evolved into a three-headed dragon. Come give it a go! Fish Eater. Oh, that's the name of the game then. A giant pineapple in the distance. Game of Thrones music. Yelling. That about sums it up. <laughs> it's the only way to save you. I can take you to our world. It, th this is just Twilight now. That's the appeal. It is Twilight. Look, it's Twilight. It's Twilight. It, it's the two characters from Twilight. It is them in the game. I 
I'm a pro gamer. I can 420 <laughs> and everything. I was so caught up playing Call of War uh, the other day. I gave a guy a marinara blood transfusion. <laughs> it's not real. There's no way that's real. There's no way that's real. I can't. I cannot fucking. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. That was I. It was me, by the way, Chad. I was the one who got the marinara blood transfusion. Yeah, I figured it was a fiver person. I'm a pro gamer. I can 420, no scope, and everything. I was so caught up playing Call of War uh, the other day. The uh, the other day. Guy, a marinara blood transfusion. That's so good. Call of War. This is um, Evertale. We've seen this. Did we see all three of them, chat? Because there's three of them. We saw two. Okay, well, here's the third one. Flashing light warning. Also repeat or okay, stray cat girl at your door. We saw this one. Did we see this one? It was almost over anyway. It was like three seconds away. I guess we saw that. Yeah, so some some repeats. Oh, these stupid games again. Yeah. Sorry, my memory is not so great, chat. I just, this too much trash. It's just clogging up my fucking memory banks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the house was lousy with cat curls. <laughs> oh, shit. It's Michael Jackson music. Similar baseline. Yeah, they always show the very, very worst gameplay. Just to piss you off into like making you angry yes. enough to download the game yourself. This isn't gameplay. No, it is. You you slide a thing. This gameplay isn't even in the actual game. They actually got it with a lawsuit and had to add this gameplay to the game because people were so pissed about these ads. Oh, I think we talked about that at some point. Yeah. We've told you this every time. Uh, maybe maybe a couple times. Sorry, just a little deja vu. What is this? No! I think that was Homer Simpson screaming. Ah! Always with the farts and the penis music. Always! I bet 99% people won't be able to beat me at this game Final Fantasy in 15. War for Yod. Okay, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again? I bet 99% people won't be able to beat me at this game Final Fantasy in 15. War for Yod. Okay, guys. I got War the game. for Yod? All right. Let's select my character. Let's go, Blondie Boy. Boom. Headshot. Boom. Let's go, baby. All right. More hits. Let's go. Let's take out this dragon. Is this an AI? Quick. Time to send all my troops and then combine these guys to get some stronger power ups. And we're gonna delete the dragon. Let's go, dude. Look at this numbers. Ha ha. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Chat, wh why is there an AI person? That's a, that's a, that's a person? Oh my god.
Or for EOS, it, this isn't official, right? Like this is, this is, the voice was TTS, but how'd they get the person to do that? I, I'm so confused. It's Final Fantasy, but how is it allowed? It, what country is this? I, it's a deep fake. I'm actually like, I got tired. Like chat, after like trying to deconstruct that and understand the situation, I actually lost like 25% of my energy. Like I actually got tired trying to figure that out. It's an official game licensed to some garbage mobile company. Apparently this is official. Game is real, unfortunate. Square, what is going on over at Square lately? Holy fuck. Most fun game to listen to while playing forever. They thought these sound effects were good enough for the advertisement too. <laughs> okay. Someone's phone that they're taking footage of. Okay. Yeah, man cannon! Yeah! This is like Bollywood level shit. Holy fuck. They're, they're all the same person. And then they just Bollywood themselves into a fucking slingshot. Vinny, I'm pretty sure it's the same joke and it's th the folder is repeats. I am an AI after all. Have we seen this? Why was it shitting <laughs> in the beginning? <laughs> does shit sell? Are we at the point where sex no longer sells but shit does? So many of these ads start with shit and or farts. I, hippos do that. They do. I, to be fair, I've seen a video of a hippo helicoptering its shit at a zoo. And it was pretty, it was pretty bad. To be fair. Are you on hot doctors? I got you now, Schwartz. Dr. Stamos. Dr. Stamos. You're just trying to steal this woman's coin, Master Coins, aren't you? She's perfectly healthy. Take him away. This is it over, Stamos. I'll be back. Not on my watch. <laughs> I love you, Rosalind. Let's get you out of here. Coin Master. Download now for free. Dr. Stamos saves the day. That, is that actually John Stamos? The guy who was dressed as a cop and made me pee into a cup at Coney Island after a Beach Boys concert while Mike Love looked and jacked off into another cup? Huh. That's very interesting. I got you now, Schwartz. Dr. Stamos. Dr. Stamos. You're just trying to steal this woman's coin, Master Coins, aren't you? She's perfectly... You know what, John Stamos, you, you make your bank however you want. What the fuck? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! Okay. <laughs> It's just memes. Oh my god. It's just meme overlay hell. Holy shit. It's so like every two seconds it's a new sound or thing that you can look at. 
Oh. Why is this a game? They're all j it's jars. Why is this a game? It's, it's like, do you have to do this before the dude sits on the jar? Yeah. Hustle Castle. Fuck you, Hustle Castle, and your fucking Family Guy ripoff art and your fucking bloody jar shit. What is this crap? I'm okay. Oh. Oh. Huh. That's just how Roombas evolve. That that's just how Roombas evolve. I figured I might have some sort of strange ability. What happened to me? Who is still doing this or what? Hey, have you been feeling weird lately? For me, I can't even work properly without drinking. You are not working either? transforming your favorite hero in heroes of crown for example my favorite hero dragon princess she has dragon horn and was an alcoholic same as me now what oh that's a uh, uh, uh what did you, you say dragon horn on your head where is my time gem huh? didn't you grow a kidney stone recently hey you can't use this music i mean i guess you can but you, you know you shouldn't you get clearance, man. Uh, so that was a pretty interesting. Um, that that was like uh, huh? Chad, there was a lot going on in this commercial. Pedro Pascal just made a mobile game commercial or mobile game ad. It has 12 million views. Hang on, hang on. H -h -h hang on. We we have to see this. Yeah, 12 million views was uploaded nine days ago. Honestly, I don't even know where to start. On the surface, you've got this perfectly normal family young girl her grandmother well he's not busy it's not like he's working on when I first heard this too much story, i was like there's no way every family has secrets it's like everybody is hiding something there's no body no smoking gun just a lot of knives every house has a story i've been on the force 40 years i've never seen anything like this i thought adam every driver was going to show up too in the commercial for some reason after a while, you start to question everything. There's secrets waiting to be unraveled. What is Grandma hiding? <laughs> it's almost like some twisted game. And that's the graphics of the game. We, what? Wow. Really? R fucking wow. How much did they pay Pedro Pascal to do this? This game makes almost a hundred million a month in raw profit. Imagine that. And then you can hire Pedro Pascal. The game is just Candy Crush. That's that's insane. Chat. 
Okay, that channel it was uploaded to has 73,000 73, subscribers, but that video has 12 million views. I, I don't understand anything too much lately about like a lot of things anymore. So anyway, let's let's just that's um interesting. It was like completely, totally different than what we just saw. Yeah. Well, that resolved quickly. That only took three seconds. Is that like some kind of joker? What the heck is that? Mm -hmm. The joker. Let's go. Well done. Hmm. What am I going to do? Not a good day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And then again, more dumb decisions to piss you off into playing the game. I love ads that just upset you enough that you want to play the game to fucking do it right. I think we saw this one, but you let me know, chat. Have we seen this one? Yeah. Okay. Because I know we've seen a couple with this from this fucking game and, and those characters, but I didn't know if we saw the tampon nose one. <laughs> There's not too much more of this, but. <laughs> but. Just to, to think, this ant became like super ant and created a massive colony just because of piss. Now for free. Shotgun sound. Shotgun sounds. Huh? <laughs> Imagine what a fucking twat you would look like if you started doing that to look cool. Gun sound. Wow. Yeah, that's like something from 10 years ago or more. Wow. You're only Stellar Arcana too. I just Chad, this is a repeat. She's already had two billing combat power. I've already kept a legendary Lyra. She's already at 4 million combat power. Give me a break. Cut it out! I have a 10 million mutant mandrake. Yeah, this is repeat. So strong. Because I've completed the hero's path. Log into Stellar Arcana daily. <laughs> Yep, this the zoom zone, everybody. It, it is here yet again. Everything all at once, all the time. <laughs> Do we see this one? Repeat? Yeah, sorry. This this folder is uh, sadly. Yeah, that was the Austin Powers joke. Um, I got to clean out this folder completely. Oh, yeah, the man baby. The man dog baby. Yeah.
Does it have to have? This looks like it's on a Nintendo DS, by the way. But why does it have to have the 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 meme? I guess that's the whole thing, right? Yeah, without the meme, there is no game. Five hundred days. Five hundred days since the zombie outbreak. We went out of the bunker in search of. Dad! Oh no! Get back to the bunker. There's a massive horde of zombies over here. <laughs> Good thing we ran fast. Oh, this okay. Is the that we built during the outbreak. This okay. Is the area. It'll cover our food supply down here, and water is extremely scarce during such times. Over here, Vault 82 our is expanding the dorms for new incomers. Welcome. This is the armory which will protect Vault out us shelter from the zombies. 82. If any other survivors see this, please make your way to bunker 82 as soon as possible. You fuck right off. Last four. <laughs> My web. Congratulations, you've been promoted. Uh oh. No, you haven't. What do you even do in this situation? The guy just got out of prison. How is he getting. He's summoning goons. He's in front of the prison. Oh, I think this one. It's, look, it's lumpy. It's lumpy. <laughs> it's actually made by Lumpy. Yeah, I mean, it's a parody. <laughs> it's perfect, though. Okay, last thing I have for you for, for tonight is, and, and thank God, because my brain is starting to, like, break is this please no please no stop showing this fucking wretched ad stop it this it just stretched all the ads out <laughs> i don't think these poops work great for this Oh god. No. Oh, so sorry. Thanks YouTube poop and gun game. The radio when I was a kid. Comfortable. And don't let him out of your <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Started eating parasites, but within two Imagine being John Stamos showing up for a day of shitty work and walking out with like a fucking hundred thousand dollar paycheck. Or more even. Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, we ten K max? Dog, YouTubers get paid more for Raid Shadow Legends. This is awful. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's shit. Chat, it's it's over. So th- this week's commercial chaos, this month's commercial chaos, whatever it is, I don't even know. It's over. So there was a lot of stuff there that was um, was pretty bad. But, you know, a lot of repeats. I'm just going to go ahead and like clear out that entire folder. So, yeah, if you want to submit mobile game ads, you may do so. Uh, make sure there's not repeats if you can if you can find a way to do that. And uh, just keep in mind, if you do end up submitting commercials, I have so fucking many of them. There's so many of them. But I'll try to get through as many as I can. And uh, thank you for your submissions, everybody. So... I just have to mark where I ended up stopping. And I think I can do that. We got crazy, but yep. All right, we're good. So we're going to take a break, everyone. Uh, thank you for watching this. After this, we'll be doing 3DS games. Grab bags, some bad ones, some decent ones in honor of the 3DS eShop shutting down. But first. Hey, Luigi. It's me, your brother, Mario. Hey, Mario, what kind of advice do you have for us today? Don't forget to wash your foreskin, Luigi. That's right. All kinds of stuff can get in there. Jelly beans, lint, pasta vazool. Wash it out as much as you can. Ah, oh, thanks, Mario. I'll remember that. And remember, if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. Jackal actually did the um, got all the clips together for that one. I didn't even know that was happening until today and I saw it. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> that works. <laughs> so that was pretty good. Good choice of clips, especially this. Amazing. All right. Uh, take a quick break. 3DS up next. Stick around. <laughs> 